At the Cleveland Clinic Neurological Institute, our major commitment is for diagnosis and treatment of neurological disorders. There is a center in the Neurological Institute for every diagnosis in neuroscience. And in these centers, the physicians that work there are really specialists in that disease. In the case of dementia, for example, we have our Center for Brain Health that has neurologists, neuropsychologists, psychiatrists, social workers, researchers, neuroradiologists. All of them are caring for one single disease that is dementia and its effect not only on the patient but on family-related issues. The Patient Management Conference is where all this multidisciplinary care comes together. We go through the data that was collected on that patient, and then we discuss what is going to be the best treatment for that individual patient. We involve the family not only in the discussion of the diagnosis and the treatment, but give them the support that they will definitely need. A neurological diagnosis doesn't change a life. It changes the life of many people at once. People who live with that person, who love that person. There are many new technologies here that allow us to treat disorders that we couldn't dream of in the past. For example, we can apply pacemakers to the brain to treat and control Parkinson's disease. Deep brain stimulation has been now utilized for the first time ever in a patient that had been paralyzed after a stroke. Part of our strength is our ability to image the brain. We have one of the most sophisticated magnetic resonance imaging system in the world to better see the disease early on in its development. Brain mapping is about bringing together the techniques that allow us to see the anatomy of the brain with the techniques that allow us to evaluate the function of the brain. This allows us to deliver treatments that are tailored to each individual person. We were the first organization in the United States to utilize a technique called SEG, which is a way to map the brain and pinpoint where the seizures are coming from so that we can accurately treat those small areas and take away seizures that were previously considered to be impossible to treat. Because we are a medical center with a strong emphasis in research and innovation, we do a lot of clinical trials at Cleveland Clinic. It allows us to offer our patients the opportunity to try treatments that are not available elsewhere yet. We started a biobank and biorepository for brain samples, and they will enable us not only to understand the genetic makeup for some diseases, but to identify biomarkers for early diagnosis. We have dramatically improved the outcomes of patients that have neurological disorders, outcomes that we couldn't offer in the past. That brings us hope, and we're making advancements to change the lives of patients that will be diagnosed with neurological disorders in the future. <laughs>